Good morning, beautiful friends. I hope that you are well. And today I am starting my new weekly reading vlog. I thought that if I can't do weekly weight loss journey vlogs because I have my arm broken, I can make weekly reading vlogs and hopefully you like them, hopefully you enjoy them. So now I really need some coffee. It's kind of gloomy and rainy outside today so I'm really sleepy and it's just uh, 7.40 so I'm just gonna grab my coffee, I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna show you something very exciting. So over the weekend I went to the library and I picked up three books, I picked up three middle grades that I wanted to show you. I've honestly never heard of these books so I thought I would show you and when I read them I'll definitely let you know what I think about them. So the first one is The Boy Who Sealed the Ocean in Her Armchair by Laura Williamson. I have literally never heard of this book and I'm excited to read it. Um, the next one is The Girl Who Speaks Bear by Sophie Anderson and it's illustrated by Catherine Onesta and this includes Russian mythology it has a glossary in the end and it's like there are a lot of russian names so that's how i found out that it's about russian mythology and probably happening in russia i'm not really sure it's about a girl who was found in a bear cave as a baby and now she is kind of escaping the village and going on a journey to discover who she is so that's really, really cool. And the last one is The Garden of Lost Souls by A.M. Howell. This is a historical fiction middle grade and I'm really excited. It's happening during World War One, which is not, which is something I'm not reading a lot of. I'm mostly reading historical fiction set during World War Two because that's what most people write about, but haven't really heard read any middle grade historical fiction set during 1916. So yeah, those are three books that I got. I'm going to be reading them in the next couple of weeks. And um, this week I'm going to start with The Girl Who Speaks Bear by Sophie Anderson because this one's the longest one and I have a lot of time to read now. So probably this is what I'm going to start. And then I also really need to finish Hopeless by Colleen Hoover this week. Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday and I just had my breakfast and I think I'm going to spend most of today reading. I got to page 140 yesterday and I would love to read at least 200 pages today. It's gloomy and it's probably going to be raining so it's perfect day for reading and besides I don't have anything else to do except for editing a video. I would love to upload videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. I don't know how that's going to go but I just don't like the schedule that I have uploading on Fridays and Sundays. I think it's just way too close. But anyway, I need to edit that video. It's going to be quite short and like there's not much to edit. It's just a few rough cuts and that's it because I can't really edit and like I have to do it with my left hand. So yeah, but yesterday at class, I actually told my, my teacher that I can't do crafts. It was crafts, arts and crafts class and they had to do something with felt and like basically make ball from felt and then make this uh, kind of like a stick that that they roll and like they make snail out after it it's like cute and it's really cool but i can't do it with one hand and she was like yeah okay just get better and that's okay just look today and it was boring just looking it was just so boring but anyway Without further ado, I am just going to go read and then I have to wake up my brother in a while. Yesterday they went to bed at midnight, they were doing his homeworks and now he has a sports class at 11.20 actually. They are like attending for sports class. It's like 
groups of 10 people and yeah i have to wake him up in about an hour if he doesn't wake up so yeah It's a little while later i decided to have lunch a little bit earlier today it's not quite lunchtime yet but i'm quite hungry i had a pretty little breakfast so i'm having some pasta with chicken and vegetables and i actually read about 70 pages of this i have to read about 200 pages and yeah i think i'm just gonna turn on some productivity sprints we will see but yeah let's eat good morning guys it's now wednesday excuse my hair i know it looks crazy but i'm slowly transitioning from washing my hair every other day to every two to every three days because i can't really wash my hair on my own right now and today is just like day four i think and i had to wash it this morning but i woke up late plus it's not going well with my plans so I would rather wash it tomorrow, um, but yeah, I can't really wash it alone and I woke up quite late, so my mom couldn't help me. Uh, but anyway, yesterday I finished The Girl Who Speaks Bear by Sophie Anderson. I really, really loved it. It was really beautiful and I can't even English today. But it was very beautiful and I love that it wasn't dark. I love that it's not like high fantasy, like really dark magic, stuff like that. I really enjoyed that. It was more like a fairy tale and it was just like beautiful. So I highly recommend it if you're interested in middle grade. And then I will be starting The Garden of Lost Secrets by A.M. Howell today. This one is about World War One. I'm excited to read this one and I don't know how much I will be able to read because I'm expecting a call as well as I need to edit a video as well as prepare for a class with my student today and I only have my left hand to do that so it's taking twice as long because like yesterday one of my colleague called me and asked if I want to participate in this program. Basically, there is this program where one teacher from each kindergarten can attend these computer courses and then become kind of like an IT mentor for their kindergarten. And so today she's gonna to call me and we're gonna fill in the all of the, the forms. And I kind of want to participate, but I kind of don't because in my kindergarten, there are a lot of older teachers who just, don't understand computers at all and it's gonna be difficult but yeah anyway I also made myself my favorite breakfast um I made I don't know if you can see I hope you can see it I made yogurt with some berries and banana and I'm gonna watch some YouTube right now eat and then expect the call and then I'm gonna update you a little bit later since I last spoke to you and I just wanted to update you on this book. I read 50 pages and I got to chapter 7 and I'm honestly not really loving it. It's slow as a lot of historical fictions are but this one is just a little bit too slow for my taste and nothing was really happening there and if I'm not enjoying it by page 100 I'm probably just gonna DNF it. It might be because I read so much yesterday. I read more than 300 pages and when I read that much I have something that I call a reading hangover because after reading so much I generally don't like to read 
the next day so it might be the case and plus i have a headache today so yeah but anyway i actually watched some tv show i started editing my june tbr yes i already <laughs> filmed my june tbr and it's crazy you will it's just ridiculous and I actually already edited the video that I was supposed to upload yesterday, but I decided that I'm gonna upload on Friday instead. So I just skipped that video yesterday. So I will upload Friday and then Tuesday and Friday instead of this Tuesday. And then I will have to film something for Friday that like, maybe I won't have energy or time. And you know, like I just decided to skip this Tuesday. Hello guys, I know I haven't updated you in a while. It's thursday today and i'm actually getting ready to go to my doctor's appointment we're gonna do x-rays to check my arm and hopefully i can go back to work on monday because i'm kind of like i'm tired of being at home and just doing nothing because most of what i do is just okay i'm reading but most of the time i'm just laying in my bed and just like watching youtube and Yesterday, I watched one video on the best bedroom plants, and then I kind of got carried away and I discovered PlantTube and all of the amazing plants that people have. And I have come with a plan how to make this room into an indoor jungle. It's insane. I just need a lot of money, and basically, I don't have too many plants. I've always loved plants, but these past couple of months i've kind of been obsessed with plants i'm obsessed with plants now it's my new obsession i'm just i've been watching a lot of really really great plant tubers it's just amazing if you're interested in plants i will leave a few interesting down below but anyway sorry for shakiness i got to page 70 of this i am interested in this i want to see how it goes and where it goes it's slow but i'm intrigued and i don't want to dnf it at all but like it's kind of very slow so i might just switch to the boy who sailed the ocean in an armchair by laura williamson and then uh the secret the garden of lost secrets will be for next week and i will probably finish it until the end of may but for now i'm probably gonna start this one anyway now i'm just gonna get ready and go to my doctor's but on my way to the doctor's there's actually a bulk store it's the only bulk store that i know of in my town there are a few sections in the supermarkets where we can get bulk but that one is specifically like zero waste store and and i went to look for some products there i really need a deodorant i finally decided that i want to switch between plastic deodorant and like cardboard deodorant and i've looked into native i know a lot of people talk about native but they don't ship to latvia unfortunately so that's how the the way so i'm gonna go to the store and see and then after the doctor i want to go to the thrift store because i really need to find some sandals for my work i need some sandals for indoor i used to uh, used to wear my regular sandals this past winter but now it's summer and those shoes are really good and i just don't want to wear them indoors i can buy some like thrifted ones and wear indoors and i need sandals specifically because my feet get very sweaty when it's really hot and it's really hot inside the kindergarten so i need sandals and maybe i can find something else i'm not gonna look into anything like specifically but um well yeah i need shorts i need jean shorts but i i don't want to I don't want to put my hopes up because I've never found good jean shorts in thrift stores so I will look for that but I'm not gonna look through like dresses or aimlessly wander around I will look a little bit I've never been in that thrift store actually so I want to see what they have so if I if I buy something that's okay I kind of need to upgrade my wardrobe so yeah wish me luck and I will definitely show you what I get when so I'm on my way home now, I couldn't find anything in the thrift store, but I got a few things in the bulk store, so when I get there I will show you, but basically I can go to work too. So this is all I got in the bulk store, I got this natural deodorant, and I think when I start this I'm gonna write the date that I started and then we'll see how long it lasts, it's basically just 
it's really hard to do with one hand, but it's basically like this. And it wasn't really cheap, but if it lasts me four or five months, that's okay. And then I also got some quinoa. The lovely lady helped me, and now I just need to put it in a jar because some tiny pieces are falling out of this bag. So, yeah, that's all I got. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because yesterday was just a very stressful day. I had to run a few errands and it was just very, very stressful. And I didn't read a lot yesterday. I just finished Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. I really enjoyed it. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars and I highly recommend it. Also, because of my no buy challenge, I decided to not buy a ton of new houseplants now. We are going to use what we have. We are pro going to propagate some plants. I have some propagation going on on my dresser, but I also want to propagate my mom's monstera. We also have some aloe that I want to propagate as well as jade plant in my grandma's room. And then there are some of these guys. I think it's pothos. I'm pretty sure it's pothos but i'm not i'm not 100% sure because there are a lot of other plants that are kind of similar to pothos but they are not pothos so anyway uh instead of buying a ton of new plants first we're gonna propagate so this is a plant that i think it's pothos but i don't know i'm not 100% sure and let me show you the propagation it's a spider plant my mom has a bigger spider plant in the living room and it had a lot of babies so I just cut uh, one of the babies and put it in some water and then I also really want to propagate this plant this is my mom's plant and she put it in direct sunlight so one of the leaves burned but then we decided to put it in on my dresser where there is no direct sun and it's kind of thriving it has a lot of new leaves and it's uh, growing bigger and I don't even know the name of this so I'll have to find the name and then I will have to uh, find how to properly propagate it because I really want this plant for myself as well because if I move I just want to have this beautiful plant and yeah these are just some of my books I I decided to finish this one before reading this one so now I'm gonna just spend some time reading so we did a little bit of gardening with my mom it was mostly my mom who was doing it. She separated aloe and we also propagated some jade plants. So you just basically put jade plant leaves into the... You can put it in water, but you can also put it in soil and then it's going to give roots. And we also propagated some monstera from the big plant and now I have it in my room, which is really cool. And... The plant that was up there, it was pathos actually. It's golden pathos and I put it in the on the balcony and I'm actually going to put these ones on the balcony as well. Just not in direct sun because it's warm and it's a lot of light there. Guys, I know I told you I'm not gonna buy any plants now, but I did. I did buy two plants and like I really wanted these plants and when we were in the store they had so many beautiful plants. I filmed just a little tiny clip, but me and my mom, we just wanted to buy everything, but we stopped ourselves and I just bought two plants and I also bought shoes for work. So let me show you. So these are the shoes that I bought. I bought them in a regular grocery store. I know it's very unsustainable, but I really could not find any shoes in thrift stores. I don't live in the US and we don't have huge thrift stores in my town. So that's what I had to go for because like I really, really needed some shoes. And if they last me for a long time, that's that's gonna be good and so the plants that i got look at these babies i got fradescansia nanook ever since i found out about this plant i just really wanted it like it was a week ago or so but yeah this leaf is just like 
not really great but this was the most beautiful one that they had but like these leaves they are like pink on the other side and then i also got a miranta so this was three ish euros this was like um 319 and then this miranta was seven yeah seven and it's just so beautiful like look at this color it's so 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 pretty and yeah i have not read much i've read i've gotten to page 150 ish so yeah not much so guys i hope this video wasn't too planty i hope that you like plants how do you like them comment down below how do you like my new hobby and how did you like the video if you liked please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you very soon bye